What is up guys, I'm Wrestling and I'm back again for another video. This video is going to be my 2013 Royal Rumble predictions. Uh, the Royal Rumble will be live on pay-per-view this Sunday. Really looking forward to the show, gonna have people uh, here in my room. We're gonna be watching it on my TV. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We watched the uh, past few Rumbles together and uh, we usually do Rumble, WrestleMania, and SummerSlam watching them uh, here in my room, watching them all together, so it should be fun. And uh, so I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just going to get to the matches. We got a match on the pre-show. And then we got four matches uh, for the main show. So we'll start the pre-show and then go to the main show, of course. So the pre-show match will be for the United States Championship. Antonio Cesaro defending against The Miz. Really looking forward to this match. I think it's going to be good. I'm hoping that uh, uh, the Miz does not win the title. I'm hoping Cesaro wins and uh, Miz puts him over. It will be good for Cesaro. It will be good to boost his career. WWE officials, you know, I've read are high on Cesaro, so it's going to be a lot of fun to see what they do this to do with do with Cesaro, sorry, in the next couple of months leading to WrestleMania and throughout the year 2013. So Antonio Cesaro to retain the United States Championship. Now, get, moving on to the main show, the Royal Rumble pay per view. Uh, starting it off, you got Team Road Scholars versus Team Hell No for the tag team titles. Of course, Road Scholars being Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow. And Team Hell No being the tag champs, Kane and Daniel Bryan. Uh, I think this match will be good. They've had some good tag team matches in the in the past on Raw, and I don't. I'm not sure if they have one on SmackDown, but uh, it should be a, a fun tag team match. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm picking Road Scholars to win this one. Uh, I just have that feeling like this is going to be the chance. I think they've had two title matches before, two tag title matches before with Team Hell No and other and just other matches in between. They had Hell in a Cell. I know they had one on Raw a few weeks ago, and uh, now this is. I think this is their third shot. So I guess third time will be the charm for Road Scholars, if I'm correct. I'm, but I'm pretty sure this is their third shot. But I'm picking Road Scholars to win. I just see them winning. I'm, I'm a big fan of Road Scholars. I really like them as a team. Team Hell No. They're a good team too, but I just feel that Road Scholars is gonna is going to win and should win. And uh, Kane, Dan, and Brian, not sure what they'll do, but uh, maybe they'll keep teaming. Teaming, maybe they'll split up. I'm not sure, but I'm picking Road Scholars to win and become the new WWE Tag Team Champions. <sighs> Next, we have the World Heavyweight Championship match. It is a last man standing match. This match is going to be Alberto Del Rio versus The Big Show. Del Rio, the champ. Big Show, the challenger. I'm um, picking Alberto Del Rio to win and retain. He's only had the title for about two weeks now, uh, around that time, a little over. But uh, I think there's no point in switching the title randomly, kind of, pretty much. They only had, like, a little, a small program, and then Del Rio beat him for the title. So this should, uh, there's no point in putting the title back on the big show. I pretty much can guarantee that Del Rio's going to win. I see him winning. Without a, without a doubt, like, not, I, I see Big Show's chances being zero on this one. So I'm picking Alberto Del Rio to retain over the Big Show and uh, retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Should be a good match, though. Last man standing. Should be entertaining. Now, uh, we have two matches. 30-man Royal Rumble and Rock vs. Punk. I'm a fan of seeing the Royal Rumble match main event the show. So Rock, Rock vs. Punk's going to come up next for the WWE title. Um, this is a hard one, guys. You know, I want Punk to win. I feel The Rock's going to win, and I, but I also feel that The Shield could get involved and, and to favor Rock or Punk. Uh, I favor Punk probably, you know, after the thing on Raw Monday, but something's telling me that The Rock's walking out of the Rumble the WWE Champion. I don't want to see it. I don't like that we're probably going to see it. I don't like Punk's chances in this one. I just feel that The Rock will be the new WWE Champion come Sunday at the Royal Rumble. It's going to be a great match. First time ever. Uh, a dream match, in my opinion. You know, CM Punk, he's really been just, really been, you know, a top guy over the past few years, ever since uh, 2011 summer. But um, now he's going to be facing off of one of the greatest superstars of all time, The Rock. So that's going to be for the WWE title. It's going to be great. But whether The Shield gets involved or not, whether Brad Maddox would to get involved or not, I feel The Rock is going to win and go to WrestleMania holding the WWE Championship. And now for the main event, the 30-man Royal Rumble match. Um, there's been participants added, and actually, real quick, I have my computer sitting next to uh, my camera here. So I'm going to click on the 30-man Royal Rumble match. And uh, there has been some names announced, so I'll run them down for you real quick. 
All right, so the entrance, the entrance that have been announced for the Royal Rumble are John Cena, Sheamus, Randy Orton, Dolph Ziggler, who will be either one or two in the Royal Rumble, uh, 3MB, Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal, or Drew McIntyre. Uh, you got Antonio Cesaro, Wade Barrett, The Miz, and Ryback. Those are the guys that have been announced, and uh, three of those guys, and I can see other people winning, I'm not just picking from these guys, but uh, the three picks I have are guys that have been announced for the Rumble. So I'm going to start with the third guy who I think at least is going to win, and the number one guy who I think has the best chances of winning. So number three is Dolph Ziggler. I think they could, I don't know what they could do. Maybe Ziggler wins the Rumble, loses that Mania, and then cashes in his briefcase and wins the you know the world title or something. Uh, I, I don't know. It's kind of like probably not the best idea, but I can honestly see them doing something like that. To push Ziggler would be good, even though his push has been like on and off, as a freaking idiot yeah, said in a video, I think a week or two ago. But uh, I, Ziggler, he, I could see him winning and then moving on to Mania, maybe winning the title there and still holding the briefcase till July or something like that. I'm not sure, but Ziggler is one of my picks, but he's the guy who I least think will win out of my three picks. My pick number two is Randy Orton. I could see them. Uh, have, just having him win the Rumble and being in the world title match in Mania. I know there was rumors a couple of months ago of uh, Orton versus Sheamus at WrestleMania. Obviously, Sheamus the champ now, but they, you know, he could win the title in the chamber next month. You never know. But uh, I could see Orton winning and going after the world title. He hasn't been in a championship match at WrestleMania since 25. You know, he had 26 in the three-way, 27 against Punk, 28 against Kane. So, he, you know, it's going to be exciting to see who's going to win the Rumble. And I honestly think Randy Orton could be one of those guys. And number one, I think a lot of people can guess, John Cena, you know. There's been so many rumors with The Rock being, you know, poss pretty much uh, possibly having to be the WWE Champion come Sunday. You know, there's lots of rumors and whatnot of Rock versus Cena 2 this year. Maybe something else, but I'm... Um, I really think John Cena is going to win this thing. Even though I don't really want to see it, I, I enjoy seeing uh, new guys winning the Royal Rumble, like not guys who haven't won before. Even though I did pick Randy Orton, who has won before in 09. But I can honestly see Cena winning also and facing The Rock again. Or maybe, you know, say if Punk were to walk out, the Rumble still the champ and walk into Mania the champ, Cena and Punk at WrestleMania would be awesome. You know, just continuing their legacy of just awesome matches. So, there's my picks for the Royal Rumble, guys. It's going to be exciting to see who goes to WrestleMania. Of course, got the Mania tickets right here. And, uh, I'm starting to, I feel like I'm showing that in every video, but whatever. So, it's going to be exciting to see you. Royal Rumble's live on pay-per-view this Sunday night. Uh, those are my picks. So, real quick, Cesaro over Miz. Uh, Team Road Scholars over Team Hell No. Alberto Del Rio over The Big Show, Rock over Punk, and my three picks for the Rumble are three Dolph Ziggler, two Randy Orton, and uh, number one is John Cena. So those are my picks for the Royal Rumble, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Gonna have a review up of the Royal Rumble uh, probably Monday. I'll probably make a new, another video before then, but I guess that's it for now. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Legend of Wrestling 99. Peace out.